Good evening. I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before, and I've had it in my possession for almost a year. It is this one here. It is the Forty Creek Unity. And it's got Unity on the side here, right there, and I don't know what's on the other side. Oh, there's a, an eagle or a, a hawk flying above the bottle on the side. Anyway, and there's a bunch of writing on the back, so what I'm going to do right away is open this. It was from the Premium Spirit, the BC Premium Spirits release of 2018, last year. And I haven't opened it yet. I'm getting to those now. The Premium Spirits release. And there are still some bottles of the Premium Spirits release in the liquor store, and there's about to be another Premium Spirits release coming soon. Uh, unless it's already coming now that uh, this is pre-recorded. So right now it's the the 4th of October. You might be watching this a month from now. So if it's a month from now, you'd be right on top of the Premium Spirits release. Is there a pull tab on this one? Eee, it looks like there's some kind of thing there. Let's see if I can... In all my excitement of trying this whiskey, I uh, forgot to say how much it costs. This one is the Forty Creek Unity, uh, $79.99, 10 cent bottle deposit. Uh, okay, uh, provincial liquor tax, $8. And uh, general merchandise, one cent, what's that for? Oh, uh, goods and services tax, four dollars and one cent. Total out the door, ninety-two twenty-four. Yippee! Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, there you go. Ninety-two twenty-four out the door. Oh, did they charge me for a plastic uh, for a paper bag? They charged me thirteen cents. Can you believe that? Anyway, 92.24 out the door. Now back to the regular scheduled uh, vlog. Hopefully I've got the top off by now. Yeah, bit of a pop. And this is our Forty Creek Unity. One quick size 50 milliliter dram or so. Quite a classy looking bottle. And the cork is a little bit loose. 40 Creek Unity, limited edition, 2018. Truly special Canadian whiskey. Uh, crafted in honor of those who have, have helped make 40 Creek what it is today. Our fans. Excellent. This is lot number 12. Uh, bottle number 03078. From lot number 12. It's bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. And it's from the Forty Creek Distillery in Grimsby, Ontario, Canada. The box says a bunch of stuff on it. Oh, and it's all small writing. Well, I'll tell you what I can get from it. Oh, wow. This thing's dirty too. Very dirty. Okay, Forty Creek Unity is a truly special addition to our lineup of annual limited releases. It was a celebration of our Forty Creek fans. The final blend was handpicked by five of our followers from across Canada, hosted at our distillery in Grimsby. The ingredients selected to make Forty Creek Unity are as unique as the fans who helped pick the final whiskey. Our master blender selected a blend of Canadian whiskeys further aged with the addition of high mocha wood, whatever that is, staves. These whiskeys were then combined with an exceptional 10 year old corn whiskey, highlighting our trademark smooth 40 creek taste. To layer in additional complexity to the blend, a small amount of rare Portuguese style starboard wine aged 15 years in previously used Forty Creek whiskey barrels was added. The resulting whiskey is signature Forty Creek smooth, complex, 
and certain to satisfy our fans across Canada and the world. Okay, so this is different. Oh, these are the names of the people who cho who were in on this. Mark Allenson in Alberta, Mike Cura in Ontario, Sarah DeGraff Phelps in Ontario, Ryan Belmore in New Brunswick, and Steve Schmutz in British Columbia. And they got their signatures on the back here. And, and in the bottom, see, right, right there. Okay, great. Great. They didn't ask me. Oh, well. Let's give it a try. I know, I moved the light from that side to that side. And the reason I did that was so that my hard drives would fit all on the table. It makes it kind of shadowy when I do this. Shadow goes all over my shirt. Oh well. Oh, that is rather nice. I'm getting that that wine, that, that port. It's like a port finish. Okay, I'm getting some some corn, corn sweetness naturally. It being mostly ten-year-old corn whiskey, and uh, and the wine finish, or the the wine barrel really comes out. So corn whiskey, wine barrel. It is complex on the nose. The wine really makes it more interesting than a corn whiskey. Oh, my mouth is really dry, so I'm going to have a glass of water. Oh, chilled to perfection. Did I mention that this was bottled at 43? got some droplets coming down some of them sticking to the sides and getting to be a, a critical mass and when they reach critical mass down they come nice oh, that is rather beautiful I'm getting something minty as well some corn whiskey some port finish something minty. Maybe that's coming from the rye component. Does it say anything about rye? I don't know. I'm sure there's some rye in it. It is a beautiful nose. Oh! I'm getting a bit of chocolate, a little bit of chocolatey mint, uh, like those after eight chocolate mint wafers things that you'd get. I don't know if you get them where you live, but here in Canada, at least they have these after eight. It's like a, like a minty paste, I suppose, and it's covered in dark chocolate. Mm. Yeah, after eight. Minty paste with uh, chocolate on it. Mm. And of course, fruitiness as well. Fruity red fruits. Red, red fruits like red grapes and berries like strawberries and blueberries and raspberries. Just berries. Blackberries too. Oh man, that is a nice, 
nice fruity little bit of rye corn sweetness superb I'm gonna taste it now Oh, that's quite yummy. Go for a second sip, then I'll try and break down the palate for you. Wow. Fruits and berries, a little bit of spice from the rye or from the oak. Um, just coats the inside of the mouth with berries and red fruits, ripe fruits, fruits and berries, and it just kind of hangs on and leaves a coating. Um, there's a little bit of a, I would say, not quite a burn, but a bit of a tingling going down the throat. And it's, um, I'd give it a medium-ish finish, a little bit of tingling on the tip of the tongue, and it, the, the tingling fades and fades and fades. Hmm. wash that down and have another. It smells beautiful. Wow. Wow. Extremely fruity and sweet. Sweet coming from the corn. Fruity berries. Plums, berries, um, grapes. Yeah. Plums and berries and grapes and sweetness from the corn and a little bit of a tingle from the rye that's quite satisfying a little more ABV would really help this at 43 it's adequate but wow I would like a little more intensity of that fruity flavor Although it is intense, it's nice. And wait, now, now on the nose, after I've had three, <clears throat> three pulls on it, I'm getting some vanilla. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Some vanilla. Will that come in out on the palate too? Not so much on the palate. The palate is really dominated by fruit. It will be interesting to see how this one ages, and I may come back to it. It's very nice as it is. I might just, just enjoy it as it is. Maybe a little bit of that tingle will soften with uh, exposure to the air. Maybe, do I have a spoon here? No, I do not have a spoon here, but I'm gonna try with just a little bit of water. See what happens to it. Oh, maybe that's too much, but we'll try it. 
I should have a spoon here at all times, but I think I washed the spoon because it was getting kind of dirty. All right. That's a bit of water. The fruit, the intensity of the fruit on the nose is a lot less. Oh yeah. A bitter water softens it somewhat. Softens the fruit, but it's bringing out a bitterness. It's bringing out some some tannins from the wood. I would not recommend adding water to this unless you like a lot of oak. Yeah. It's still fruity, but a little bit more oaky now. Yeah. Strong oak on the finish. Lots of oak. Oak tannins. Very oaky finish now that I've added water. Before it was kind of spicy, now it's kind of oaky. Not bad at all. I like this whiskey. So, um, I'll drink to your very good health. Cheers. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>